What's magical, easy, and fun? Our book, Magic of Three Yard Quilts, made in brand new fabrics. Bingo! Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. And The Magic of Three Yard Quilt is one of our most popular books. And because of that, we decided to make all the quilts in brand new fabrics just oh, for you. They're gorgeous too, so let's jump in and look at our first one. The first quilt we have is enchanting. Oh my goodness, is this not just rich and bold and beautiful fabric on this one? We have this great focus fabric here and this nice block, and then we've got some great number two and three bordering the block in our enchanting pattern here. Let's put it on the table and check out that fabric. So mom, I love this fabric. It, it looks like a Fran fabric. It is a Fran fabric <laughs> through and through. The purples, the black mm -hmm. background, the beautiful blues popping off of that black. It's just striking and stunning. It is, and, and you know, I, and I have to say, I really like the number two. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, we're gonna get to that. Let's talk oh, okay. about this focus. <laughs> so this focus works beautifully right here in this big block here. And we also have it just on a little bit in the corner here that comes together and creates this diamond. So it's really dynamic. Then let's talk about that number two. <laughs> it's not often that I fall in love with the number two because it's kind of the background and it recedes, but this is uh, gorgeous. This is the coolest fabric. So it's kind of a little bit of a, a, a pin dot, but it has this variation to it mm -hmm. that all the dots kind of change colors along with the background colors. It And it's like it's blue and it's green and it's, it's just yummy and of course it's going to go on the border and on our block of borders here and it picks up all of these turquoises and greens and everything and contrasts so well with our focus. Well you know that's the job of that number two is to kind of recede so that the focus and the accent color really shine and this does the job beautifully and you yes. can still fall in love with it even though it's a little bit receded from the rest of the colors. Agreed. It's just gorgeous. Now then we're you know we're comparing these two our two and three the two would be our lightest our three is the darkest and we have this beautiful textural print here now this has some purple and some blue in the background with the black which is kind of cool because it's very very subtle but as you can see it just picks up mm -hmm. that focus fabric the colors in that so beautifully and it borders the block here and it goes on the border of the quilt and the binding this is just yummy, yummy, luxurious looking. Today. It's a luxurious, dramatic quilt. Oh, so Love yummy. It. All right, let's get the kit information on that. The kit number 8023328. It is called Purple Mystique. And once again, the enchanting pattern from the book Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And that pattern is only available in the Magic Book. So we are suggesting an alternate pattern of Town Square. Now this one is called Allure, and Allure is one that I felt like it really kind of drew you in if you were looking for a really quick pattern, and this one goes together so nicely but still shows off that fabric so well. So let's put it on the table and talk about this one. You know what this reminds me of, friend? What? You know, I love to go down on the dock early, early in the morning before the sun rises, oh, and nice. a lot of times there's a cloud coverage, uh -huh. and I'll be sitting there and then just like, like that. The sun just comes out through a little hole in the clouds. Oh, wow. And it oh. is just so fun. And so this is that uh, that early morning sunrise oh, kind of a feeling gorgeous. to me. It's and so of course pretty. it's pretty. It, it really is. <laughs> now this is our number one flower and it's a happy fabric. It yes. is definitely. I've, I've always thought that daisies were such a happy kind of a fabric and these are like a stylized daisy. Yes. So this is going to go everywhere you see the big block and then also over here. When we talk about focus fabric, that's one key you can always remember is look for the fabric that you want to focus on. What do you want to show up the most? And that's where we put it when we design the patterns. So this is our number one. This is our number two. And that one is going to be the one that goes in the background and really causes the focus fabric and the accent fabric to come forward. And I like it because there's a lot of interest in this yes, fabric. it's really sweet. Cute little flowers. And so this gray is going to be in the background. It'll border the, the accent color, uh -huh. and it will also be out in the border. Oh, perfect. So it is great. It really does cause the design of the pattern to show off. Then our number three fabric is going to be a little accent block right here, and then it's also going to 
uh, frame the focus fabric and it's almost like I believe you said before it's kind of like have a little picture yes <laughs> and this is <laughs> it's the like frame. the picture frame it's perfect and then we finish it off with that in the binding I love it and you know this pattern allure mm -hmm. is has become a little bit of a go-to pattern for me too because not that our focus here is directional, but if you had a directional fabric, it works really well in this pattern. Oh, And so okay. I have really gone to it over and over again because of that. And mm -hmm. I, I think it's just such a great, fast, simple pattern that has a lot of interest the way you put it together. Yeah, I like that. And you know, you could even almost have like a double focus <gasps> you because could. that number three is, is sort of acting like a, a, like a secondary double yeah. focus. It's very cool, great pattern. Well, let's look at this information. This one is called Buttercup and slate. It's 8023323. Boy, that's a lot of two threes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Allure. It's from the book Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And an alternate pattern would be sugar pie. So this pattern is the topiary pattern. And you know, isn't it interesting how different a fabric can make a pattern look? So I think when we did this and when we planned it out, it was almost like Wowzer, I just loved it. Loved the greens, loved the off-white in the background. Let's put it on the table and check out this fabric just a little closer. So this is a fabulous grouping of fabric. I it just is. love it. And you know, this quilt is uh, one of our double focus quilts. I know you mentioned that in the last pattern. It is. So, and it really works well because, so let's step through this. Our great number one, beautiful florals on a screen background mm -hmm. with a little bit of a butterfly and some other florals and some swirls thrown in there. Our number one is on the border as well as on every other block. And then we have our number two. Now our number two is very cool. Now it creates the pattern. It's our background. Mm -hmm. And this is a good one because it has just a little bit of texture, a little bit of a, a speckle in here. And that's, you can see here where that goes in between our blocks here. And then our number three, and this is kind of like our secondary focus that we were talking about. And this one, this is a cool, cool fabric. So it matches the greens in this so beautifully, but this fabric also has a little bit of metallic and it's a little bit of a different metallic than what I've seen before. Yeah, it's very coppery, it, but it really does. It, yes, it's coppery, which is, <laughs> di well, I mean, well, I usually see gold and I see silver and I've mm -hmm. seen some like, iridescent kind of looks, but this one has like a copper. It's gorgeous. It's just so warm. And of course our number three is gonna go here in our secondary block and on the border. So very, very pleasing. That just is. Love it. And I'd like to point out that if you want to find out what we were talking about when we said different from what, <laughs> we have a whole introduction of the magic of three yard quilts and you can see all of the original quilts and you can see how these really change. So be sure to check out our yeah. video. It's really different and it just goes to show you how you can take three one yard cuts of fabric, put it in any of our three yard quilt patterns and they just look amazing. It is so, it, it is, is fun. It's, it's like it's having magic. a magic wand <laughs> and you go, Ding! <laughs> it's so true. All right, let's get this kit information for these. This is called a Trendy Blooms. The number is 8023322. And the pattern is called Topiary from the Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And the alternate pattern we're suggesting is Brick Street. Now, this pattern is called Delight. And it is very delightful. And I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of magic to make it even larger. This is the lap size. And this one is the twin size. And that is gorgeous. And with just a little bit of magic called two kits, you can make a quilt this large. Isn't that just astounding? So let's put that on the table and talk about it. You know, friend, you really don't have to have a magic wand to make this lap quilt into a twin size. Yes. You just need two of the three yard quilt kits. It makes it very simple. And we've given instructions in the book on how to enlarge it. Absolutely. So to uh, give you some examples here, this is the uh, delight as it was originally mm -hmm. in the book. and. It has your instructions with all of your diagrams and everything, but every single quilt in the book gives you the instructions for a twin or a king queen. Oh my goodness, that makes it so much easier. And I love the formula of one kit for a lap quilt, mm -hmm. two kits for a twin, 
and four kits for a queen king. That makes it so simple. Yes, when I first started going to shows and we had our three yard quilt kits there, people would see the lap quilt and they thought, well, that would make a nice gift quilt or mm -hmm. maybe um, a love quilt that you give to a, a charity or someone who's helping people in nursing yeah. homes, et cetera. Yeah. But I'd like to make it bigger for myself. And they were asking me how to do that. And so I figured out, oh, we'll just get two kits and yes. you can make it larger. And we, the first book that we ever did did not have those instructions in it. So we redid the book, so they do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick and easy three yard quilts. But now every book, every pattern in every book has this instruction. That is great. That so. is fantastic. And this is a beautiful in a twin size. Oh, it is gorgeous. It's beautiful in the lap too. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's more to love oh, in the twin. Definitely. And this is a fabulous fabric. It is. Wow. I will have to say when I was a kid, our next door neighbor had morning glories. And oh my gosh, I just love to go out there first thing in the morning and look at the beautiful flowers because that's exactly what they did. They bloomed in the morning. Wow. So this is our number one fabric and the number one fabric is going to go in your focus position and I've also used it out here on the, uh, the border. And you know, this is interesting because this is a large print and I love the way that the larger print just kind of peeks in like you're looking through a window. It I looks like, like a Georgia O'Keeffe <gasps> painting. Oh. <laughs> it does. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. wow. Because she always just in your face flowers. I yes. mean, they were so gorgeous. So One gorgeous. of the highlights of my life was getting to go to her museum in New Mexico. It was Wonderful. gorgeous. Okay, another subject. <laughs> But so yeah, <laughs> it is a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric, and that's going to go everywhere you see the number one fabric here. And talk about interest in the number oh two fabric. Goodness. Oh my goodness, we are just getting more and more bold with that. We are. But it works. It, it works. It works. I just love the way that you have all of that interest, mm -hmm. but we've had this cut into our. Uh, we have three borders on this one, as well as what's framing that number love three. It. And then this is the coolest block, so you need to be sure to get the book so you can see how easy yeah, this is to do. Cool yeah. But it is just such a cool block. So that's our number two. And then for our number three, more gorgeous, 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 coming right up. Yes. That's going to be our secondary um, block here and also out in the border. Yeah, and I love the way it just gives that little shadow from the alternate block there, which is yes. so cool. It almost makes it look like you took it right oh, out of the picture frame. Yes. <laughs> or maybe you're putting it in the frame. Oh, maybe so, <laughs> maybe so. Okay, so this one is called Brilliant Bouquet. You can tell we love it. <laughs> and it's 8023329. Delight is the name of this pattern from the book Magic of Three Yard Quilts and an alternate pattern would be bold blocks. So this pattern is our dazzle pattern. And as you can see here, it looks like it's snowing. So we have a great blue and white fabric for you and these great snowflakes that are in this part right here. Let's put it up on the table so we can look at this closer. So mom, this is one of my favorite ones from the book, but of course, you know, they're all our favorites. You know how that goes. <laughs> but this one is a really cool quilt. It's really cool. You know, let's get the cropping tool on okay. this one because I think it's a really unique block and it may surprise you actually. I know so. it did me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to just crop in right here. So here is our block. Now it's, a little different. You wouldn't expect that, but we're going to put them all together and it creates this great design. So the first thing we have here to begin our block is a half square triangle and a little square. That's so cool. Okay. Then on the side of that, we're going to put a strip. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do that again. We're going to put another strip here. And then we're going to do another strip right here on the side. So it's very cool. Now, What's also really neat about this mm -hmm. is it's a one block quilt. We're making this block again. Uh -huh. We're just kind of changing the positioning of the fabric just a little bit. So as you can see oh. here, exactly the same block. That is Very really cool. clever. Mm -hmm. I remember when you designed this one, I was just like so impressed maybe a little bit jealous but <laughs> so impressed no it's just a beautiful quilt it's you know really that. fun and i love the way whenever you rotate the blocks and they all come together it creates this pinwheel so mm -hmm. it's really cool it's now, a magnificent quilt it, it's fun Thank yeah you. so love this this is like paper snowflakes 
Oh yeah. You know, I remember you helping us as a kid make paper snowflakes where we folded the fabric mm -hmm. all up and snip, 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 and then you opened it up and it was like, voila! That was so <laughs> much fun. We used to have a lot of fun things that we'd make and do. Now we are grown up. And we and have we still do it. fun <laughs> things that we get to do. <laughs> so this is our focus fabric, gorgeous in the blue and whites. And as you can see, it is in each block. It's on the inner border or the inner part of the block on this one, the outer on this one, and the half square triangle. And then for our number two, we have snowdrops, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> White on the blue. And you can see, of course, once again, we've got it in our half square triangles here and on our border of our block here. Very fun. Just a little touch on the border as well, just to give it that separation. I think it works really well to really help the design altogether pop really well. Mm -hmm. Then our number three. Now this is very cool because the number three still looks a little bit like paper snowflakes but it's a very monochromatic tone on tone, so you just get a hint of that. Mm -hmm. And it's very cool because the blues go so well together, still gives you that feel, but gives you a pop as well, which is what we're looking for. You know, this is a good example of what the magic is in this book, because even the most complicated looking design oh, is so simple. So simple, so simple. So we have that great number three in our pinwheel, on each of our blocks and on the border and binding as well. I, I think this is wonderful. And you know, it's kind of cool because it's a snowy quilt, but it's so cozy and warm. Oh yeah. <laughs> so very, very fun. Love this one. This is called Paper Flurries and the number is 8023327. The pattern is Dazzle from the book Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And we are suggesting the alternate pattern as corner play. Now this one is called Flights of Fancy. And you know, I had so much fun whenever I designed this. I wanted to do something with some flying geese, but I didn't want it to be so over the top that you got tired of making them. So I designed this pattern and it just turned out so cute. Let's put that on the table and talk about it. You know, I really like this fabric for the part, part of where you've got the little birds that are kind of hidden in the, yeah. in the flowers and everything. And then of course the the double entendre there. With the, the flights of the <laughs> flights of fancy and the birds. Well, that's, no, that's great. really pretty cool. And this is beautiful coloring. The purple and the beige mm -hmm. is so pretty together. Uh, and I love the green. I just I, I just think the green really makes it pop. I so agree. let's look at this fabric. We've got our number one, uh, our focus fabric is going to go in your largest block as well as out on the border, which is one of the things I really like doing is getting that focus fabric because you get these big long runs of the focus yes, fabric. And it adds a lot of color usually. Yes, absolutely. And then our number two, whenever you pick out your lightest when you compare, you've got the number two with the purples, the greens, the beigey white, and uh, that is going to go here and in the background. And then our number three is the green, and that's our accent colors. They're going to make those geese really perfect show off. Yes. And then I board the side of them with this. And it's really cool because these are both a similar type block. Here's your block with a strip on the side, and then there's your block with the strip on the side oh, too. You're right. I never yeah. really snapped to the fact that that was done the same way. That is very cool. It's a super easy, easy yeah. block. So you'll be doing some strip piecing as well as a few half square triangles and voila, you've got this great design. I love it. And I want to say something too. Uh -huh. I love the fact that we are getting really bold with our number two fabrics. And I like that this one mm -hmm. has the purple and the green that really blends it together. It still has contrast, but it really keeps that interest going. Yes. I think in the beginning, um, here's a secret you might not know about me. I was a little intimidated by matching fabric in the beginning. I mean, you probably wouldn't know it now, but. Well, <laughs> what quilter isn't? I mean, I think we're yeah. all kind of have that moment like, whoo, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I remember making a couple of quilts and I remember talking to you and saying, Fran, I just, I don't like the way this is kind of worked out. And so you talked to me about color and all of that. And I keep telling y'all, this woman taught me so much Aww. about quilting. <laughs> She was quilting while I was making suits, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make suits, though. So. <laughs> so you really helped me to see. And so at the beginning, I did a lot of the, the solid tonal mm -hmm. colors, which is still really nice. Gorgeous, and if you've yeah. got them in your stash and you're wanting yeah. to use them up, it's a perfect way yeah. to do that. Uh, this one is called Garden Songs. It's 8023326. 
It's Flights of Fancy. It's from the book, The Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And an alternative pattern could be stepping stones. It would look great in that it too. Would. So this pattern is called Splendor, and this is so much fun. This is made actually with half rectangles. And we've got a really kind of funky mod floral here with this great dot in the background and a nice pop of color for this sashing. So let's put it on the table and check out this fabric. So mom, this quilt is made with half rectangles, which is a little different than a half square triangle mm -hmm. because they're not squares, they're rectangles. Right. And you know, we have a great tutorial on this. So if you've never done it, be sure and check out our tutorial on half rectangles. And I love the combination of these two fabrics. So we have our great focus here that creates our diamond. This is pink and blue and fun and funky and just great. <laughs> I love it. You know, after as much monochromatic that we've had in our decor, yes. it has been a lot of fun having so much more, yeah, color. Color. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm still black and white. <laughs> We blend so well together. But you know, I'm not gonna go buy all new clothes. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's kind of like, um, you have to have a focus fabric and then you have to have a number two fabric and then you have- Oh, I'm number two. <laughs> Just today. Just today, okay. <laughs> so this is great because I'm really enjoying all the bright colors in our quilts. And mm -hmm. this one is certainly no exception because this is great fabric for our half rectangle. Now on the opposite part of our half a rectangle on the background here we've got this great dot and these dots are all different sizes and they're kind of lined up almost like a stripe but kind of varied it's kind of cool it looks like a party it does oh like a beaded <laughs> yeah like a beaded <gasps> curtain <laughs> that's what it looks like it looks like a beaded curtain remember that party that we had when we lived in big sandy and i put it in the dining room <laughs> had the beaded curtain. Oh my goodness. And we all dressed up like it was the 70s again. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, we're dressing that way anyway. <laughs> it's not even a party. Anyway, so this is a great number two and you can see how it's in each of our blocks and a little bit on the border. And then our number three. Now, this is very interesting because we've been talking about more texture in our fabrics, mm -hmm. but we kept our number three in this case very simple so that we get that really nice pop. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of different because it's acting a little bit as our eye rest, whereas the number two usually does that. That's true. So it's a little different. And I think that's kind of like the point of picking out your fabrics. You either need the small, medium, and large, the light, medium, and dark, and sometimes you need in this case, something that will set them off, or like you said, to make the rest. Yes, I mm -hmm. totally agree. And you said small, medium, large, and we've got that here. We've got a larger print, a medium mm -hmm. print, and a no print. <laughs> <laughs> Which so, we'll call small. small. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great. I think this turned out really, really darling and very cute. The kit for this pattern is Fantasy Garden. The number is 8023325. It is our Splendor pattern from the book, The Magic of Three Yard Quilts, and we are recommending an alternate of diamond dust. Now this one is called Fascination. And you know, every row quilt that we've ever done has been very, very popular. And I think part of the reason is because you have that big strip right there that's the full width of the fabric, and that is your foundation for the other blocks. And it just makes it go really fast. You can get a little bit more intricate in these blocks because you've saved so much time and energy on that big wide strip. So let's put this on the table and talk about it. Fun, fun, fun. Really Don't we is. love the sunflowers? Oh, yes. You know, I just had a group of ladies come over a couple of weeks ago, and one of them brought me a bouquet of sunflowers. Oh. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah, so sweet. And, yeah. you know, you were talking about sitting on the, the uh, um, deck, too, mm -hmm. and the sunshine. This is another sunshine quilt. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as the days get a little colder and get a little more gloomy, you want a little bit more sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> now, right now, while it's... <laughs> Oh, yes. if, if we have too much sunshine, we want the rain. You know, we uh, are never quite satisfied. True. Okay. <laughs> okay, so these sunflowers are fun, and they have these wonderful chickadees. Are these chickadees? I'm not up on my birds. If you know what kind of bird this is, maybe you could let us know. We always yeah. appreciate your help. <laughs> yes, because even though we know a lot about quilting, we don't know that much about anything else. <laughs> 
Well, I know it's a bird, and I know that these are bees and butterflies. Yep, and those are sunflowers. <laughs> so hey, we're on our we're on our way. So is that a chickadee? Let us know. So this is our big wide strip. It's the width of the fabric, and we just cut it to fit with the blocks that we have above and below. And it's super, super fast. So you've got your star block, and then you've got your bordered block here. And what wonderful foundation blocks these bordered blocks are. Yes. We use them all the time as, as kind of an anchor in a design. I love it. So this is our number one fabric, and that's going to be a real show off here with the full width of the fabric. And then we have our number two fabric that's a repeat with the little sunflowers, oh. but they're, you know, they're interesting, but they're a little more subdued. That's going to go in your frame around that. here. And I wanted my stars to really shine, so I put them in the number two fabric of so they stand out. It's the sunshine. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> And then the third fabric is our number three fabric, which is the darkest of the three, becomes your secondary uh, center here and also your accents over here and here. So I just really think this one turned out cute with I this fabric. Too. Just precious. Love it. And it is sunny and bright and happy. Absolutely. <sighs> you know, if they would like to see how to make this into a table runner, we oh. did a, uh, we have it on our website. It's actually, it's one of our YouTube videos. Just check out our tutorial videos. And we have actually used this pattern to make it into a table runner. And this would be a fantastic table runner. It really is. It turned out great. You should go check it out. <laughs> now, this one is called Sunflower Field, 8023324. Fascination is the name of the pattern. It's from the book Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And the alternate pattern is Happy Go Lucky. It has been amazing seeing all of these patterns made in new fabric. I love it when we do these book reviews. How do you feel about them? Do you like seeing book reviews? And if so, let us know in the comments. Please do. It's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson. Thanks for watching.